Hi, my name is Neil Blevins, and uh, this is a tutorial showing how to create a vertex wear map. So uh, if you haven't read it already, please read the uh, written tutorial that's on my website. You can get a link to it uh, in the info section of this YouTube video. And uh, this is just me showing you quickly how to do this inside of 3D Studio as a practical example. So step number one is we want to create the vertex map. So we select our objects and notice the amount of detail on the mesh here. Um, that's the one disadvantage of this technique is it requires some extra detail on the mesh in order to get the, uh, the results you want. So I'm going to run a script called Corner Edge to Vertex Map, which I wrote. Uh, it's available on my website, neilblevins.com. And what this is going to do is it'll take uh, the whole mesh and apply a base color of white. And then it'll take the convex and concave edges and apply a color of black. So basically any edge that has a 90 degree uh, difference um, is going to get this black color. And then the final thing is uh, displaying the vertex colors so we can see the results. So let's hit apply on there. And there we go. So you can see that we got the results we want where all the edges now have a black color and uh, the rest has a white color. And we're going to use this vertex map to blend between two materials. So let's go into our material editor and you see here we got a blend material and uh, material one is a light metal. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, and um, material two is a painted material. And then in the mask we are going to blend between these two. So we're going to go in here and add a warp texture, which is a plugin by FooTools. And for target, we're going to choose vertex color, which is going to grab the map that you see here. And then under warp, we're going to apply a noise. And uh, you can play around with the, uh, the, the values in noise, but uh, I already know some, uh, some good values for this, for this particular model. Each model may require slightly different uh, values of noise depending on its scale and, and other factors. And I'll bring the warp amount down so it's not super crazy. And now uh, I'll show you another script that I wrote called text map preview. And uh, the one disadvantage in Max is a lot of times if you want to see like for example this series of maps and what they look like on the surface it won't actually do a good job of showing it in the viewport. And so what this uh, does is just quickly takes whatever maps you have selected in the material editor and then does a super quick render of it just so you see exactly what your results are going to be um, at this particular map level. So if I use the defaults and I hit apply, that's our results. So you can see we have our black edges and then we also have them noised up. But um, this currently is, is looking too light. Really we want something that's a lot more contrasty. So let's go to our output of the warp texture and say enable color map. And I will add some more contrast to it. Say something like that. Now if we re-render this map, there you go. You see we have a lot more contrast. And uh, let's go in and just actually adjust this a little bit more, just to see if we can get a little more, more white going on. Yeah, maybe a tiny bit more. Okay, that might actually be a little too much. Let's just pull this over a bit. Okay, so now this map here, the warp texture, is going to blend between these two materials. So if we do a, a full render, of the object. You can see the result. So this is a, a really good way to very quickly uh, get that sort of, you know, paint which then has the edges worn off because people have bumped into it or it's scratched against stuff or just sort of everyday wear and tear. And uh, obviously this particular example here is, is too even. There's too much wear all over the place. You'll want to, you know, play with the noise to try to get better results. Or you can also, on top of this texture, paint another texture, which is uh, defining uh, areas that it uh, uh, does or does not happen, uh, just to get more variety in there. But this is a much quicker way of getting at least an initial base pass on this without having to manually paint everything, which would take a long time to, uh, to do. So thank you very much. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this. And uh, visit my website, neilblevins.com, for more tutorials. And uh, if you want to see more videos, um, 
then please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified anytime I put new ones up. Thank you very much.